wash daily Daily wash, wash daily God, please clean my room this time Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening Welcome to Daily Wash Wednesdays I bet some of you thought I forgot about you, but I did not And you're going to want to tune in for this one our topic today is three things you'll need to persevere through the storm. Our scripture reference will be taken from Romans, the 8th chapter, 37 through 39th verses, and we will be reading from the King James Version. It says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Isn't that an exciting scripture reference? It's so exciting until I know that we've heard it before in a different version, but I promise it's going to be directly applicable today. And again, our topic is three things that you'll need to persevere through the storm. So, our first one is, you need to remember to stay away from negative people. I put a big X across that. Stay away from negative people. Yes. This may mean when certain people call your telephone. And, unfortunately, these may be people who you inspire on your updates. But when you're going through something, you can't always be inspirational. Amen? So, you're not going to want to answer your phone during these tough days when you're going through the storm. And you're also going to want to shy away from certain conversations, maybe in the workplace or the social gatherings, with people who are just constantly being negative. You know who they are. They're coming to your mind right now. The second thing that you're going to want to do is rebuke all negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones. Um, it's a given fact that whenever you go through something or whenever you're on the break of something powerful, the enemy will try his best to just attack you from all types of ways. And remember, every tactic he uses is based upon illusion. It's all false. So what better way to do this than to try to just implant negative thoughts into your mind. So since you know these things come from him, you rebuke them and you immediately replace them with positive thoughts. I promise, even though it doesn't seem like it, there's always a silver lining. You just got to dig a little deeper to find it and ask your Heavenly Father to help you. Third, you want to stay focused on the rewards. Amen? Yes, stay focused on the rewards. And that point actually came from Jarrell, our director of photography, who's my beloved husband. And when we focus on these rewards, we're going to remember the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, um, it's hard when you have to work and you're in the trenches and you're going through that storm. You're trying to figure out how you need to persevere. What better way than to keep your goal in mind? And something that we love to utilize in our home are vision boards. And not only because of the spiritual laws that they fulfill, but even beyond that, just the fact that we can look at them and see them, it reminds us what we're working on. So I pray that you'll hold on to these three things and that as it may be raining frequently wherever you may live, I know it is here, just hold on and know that the sunshine is coming. And if you're enduring some tough times while we also have the physical rain, it can be like feeling like a double impact. So just keep holding on. Pray. Press on. Uh, surround yourself by those prayer warriors. You're going to need them. Eliminate negative thoughts. Stay away from negative people. Stay prayed up. Read your scriptures. Laugh sometimes. Listen to some comedy. You get my gist. So, let's go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. Dear Lord Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the daily wash. Thank you for this word. Thank you for teaching us how to persevere. Thank you for teaching us the key elements that are necessary to endure such trials, Father God. Lord, we love you so much for trusting us so much that you know that we can pass these tests. For you said in your word that you would never put more on us than we can bear. So, it means that you think highly of us merely because we're going through these trials, Father God. Lord, I ask that you would bless all of my brethren out there who may be watching this video. There's someone who may be hurting right now. They're in pain and they do not understand your ways, but we know that your ways are higher than ours and your thoughts are higher than ours, so you know what's best for us. So I pray that you give them all the strength that they need to endure and continue on in this race. All these things we ask in your son, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Go in peace. Daily wash, wash daily. Please
swing my room. 